Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. Med to the point. Today, we're going to explore an important and hopeful procedure in the world of assisted reproductive technology. Intrauterine insemination, commonly known as IUI. Whether you're considering this procedure yourself or just want to learn more, we've got you covered. Let's dive in. Intrauterine insemination is a fertility treatment designed to help increase the chances of conception. It involves placing sperm directly into the uterus, bypassing the cervix to facilitate a more direct path to fallopian tubes where fertilization can occur. Here's a simple breakdown of how IUI works. Step 1 preparation, step 2 ovarian stimulation, step 3 sperm preparation, step 4 insemination, step 5 post procedure and follow up. Step 1 Preparation. Before the procedure, both partners might need to undergo some tests. For the woman, this could include blood tests and ultrasounds to monitor the health of the ovaries and uterine lining. For the male partner, a sperm analysis helps ensure the sperm is healthy and suitable for the procedure. Step 2. Ovarian stimulation. Often, medication is prescribed to stimulate the ovaries to produce multiple eggs. This is usually done through oral medications or injectable hormone. Regular monitoring through ultrasounds helps track the development of the eggs. Step 3. Sperm Preparation On the day of the procedure, a sperm sample is collected. Sperm is then processed in a lab to concentrate the healthiest and most motile sperm and remove any impurities. Step 4. Insemination During the IUI procedure, a thin, flexible catheter called IUI catheter is used to insert the prepared sperm directly into the uterus. This is done in a clinical setting and is generally quick, lasting only a few minutes. Most women experience only mild discomfort, similar to a pap smear. Step 5. Post-procedure and follow-up. After the procedure, you can resume normal activities. Your doctor will schedule a follow-up visit to determine if pregnancy has occurred, typically around two weeks later. A pregnancy test will be conducted to confirm the results. Here's a simple a video that explains the IUI process through animation. The menstrual cycle of fertile women usually lasts about a month. During this time, and under the influence of the body's own natural hormones, a tiny sac within the ovary containing an egg grows to about the size of a grape. At a point midway in the cycle, this egg is released from the ovary and ovulation occurs. Ovulation is also regulated by hormones. The egg, which from this moment on is ready for fertilization, then passes into the uterine tubes to await the arrival of fertile sperm. Ovulation is a naturally occurring event, and the desire to have children is a similarly natural instinct. But that instinct cannot always be fulfilled. The causes of unwanted childlessness are numerous, but so are the means of treating them. With the technique of intrauterine insemination, sperm is provided either by the male partner or by a third-party donor whose sperm has been stored in a deep-freeze sperm bank. Before insemination, the sperm samples are prepared in the laboratory. They are assessed for safety, quality and quantity and then passed through a filtering system for grading and washing. With a syringe and fine tube, the prepared sperm cells are then introduced directly into the cavity of the uterus beyond the mouth of the womb and the cervix. They immediately make their own way towards the uterine tube. The objective of IUI is to bring these sperm cells as near as possible to the egg. Nevertheless, only the most mobile sperm cells will actually reach the egg and only one will penetrate the outer layer of the egg to achieve fertilization. But just as in everyday life, there are many times that fertilization fails and the cycle passes without a pregnancy. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more helpful content. Until next time, take care.